Hi and welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Susan and this is Skullhead, the gardening, cooking and DIY. Um, today I'm going to be making banana bread. Um, so I'm going to be using some brown sugar that I made in a previous video to show you uh, how I use my brown sugar that I made. And um, I also will be using uh, a vanilla extract that I made uh, also um, in a video previously to this one and I will also link that one below and uh, in, in somewhere up here um, so let me know how yours goes if you leave a comment below and um, let's get started okay so here I have my handy dandy little mixer now you can use a hand mixer in a bowl if you want um, so we're gonna start with a half a cup of butter so to that we're going to add 3 quarters of a cup of homemade brown sugar. Now I'm going to mix, let this mix up a little bit and I'm going to scrape my bowl to get both the butter and the sugar incorporated. I find that um, even though the butter is room temperature, it's a little sticky. So as that's mixing up, I'm going to add two eggs. Now you'll notice that I've only added one egg here. Um, this will come, uh, I'll realize this later on that I only put one egg in. Um, and you'll see the difference in the mixing when that happens. Now add one um, teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we're going to mix that up a little. You're going to want to scrape your bowl again if you need to. Um, I do this uh, constantly because I want to make sure that everything is going to be mixed together really, really well. Now I'm going to add two to three mashed ba uh, bananas. It depends on the size of the bananas as to how many I will put in. If they're really big bananas, I'm only gonna put in two. If they're smaller or medium sized bananas, I'm gonna put in three. I'm also gonna add two cups of all purpose flour. This is where I realize that um, I've, uh, something's not right and I'm going to end up adding the extra egg because I realized that I only put one egg in. So um, you'll see that the, the consistency of the dough is more like a cookie dough and then once I put my extra egg in, um, it, you'll see the difference. Add one teaspoon of baking soda and of course the egg that I totally forgot to put in earlier. And it happens. I mean, I've, do, I've been doing this recipe for years and for whatever reason, sometimes I think I only need to put one egg in. Uh, now you're going to need to add a pinch of salt. Now if you're using salted butter, a pinch is fine. Otherwise, if you're using unsalted butter, you're going to want to add a little bit more salt to the batter. So you'll see how the consistency is really changing now. It's more uh, lighter. It's not as dense. And as I'm scraping the bowl, um, I'm really trying to incorporate that last egg that I put in. So. Um, when I stop the machine, you'll, you'll see that it's totally, totally different. It almost um, just kind of oozes off the, uh, the whisk there. Okay, so I have a 8.5 by 4.5 uh, loaf pan, and I've lined it with parchment paper, and I'm just going to add my, my dough to this, spreading it out uh, fairly evenly as you can. 
and you can see how the consistency is more cake-like as opposed to cookie-like. So I'm going to put this in a 375 degree oven for 40 minutes. And remember that um, my oven is going to be a little different than your oven. So uh, when you make it for the first time, uh, just keep an eye on it. And then this way you can actually see um, exactly what, uh, how much time you really need. So that is the uh, banana bread uh, that I made. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know how yours turns out in the comment below or if you plan on trying it at all and um, Also check out the other videos that I've got uh, for the brown sugar and the vanilla extract If you enjoy this channel, uh, please subscribe and tickle that notification bell and we'll see you next time Bye-bye for now <laughs>